All right, welcome back. Today we're going to see how we can bind two receivers to one transmitter, for example, to control the truck and the trailer at the same time. Um, so the truck could have the coupling and decoupling of the trailer, and then the trailer would have the ramps, the landing gear, and maybe both of them have some kind of safety light uh, that we want to switch uh, with the receiver, uh, with the transmitter at the same time. And this has been around since the old megahertz days uh, that you would have uh, two receivers on the same frequency and uh, you could control your trucks or your boats uh, like a, a mothership and daughter boat uh, that you deploy uh, and it's quite useful to do that and we will see that it is very simple to do that uh, with the uh, modern um, uh, receivers as well. So at the moment they are not correctly bound uh, so uh, they don't work. Uh, the important thing is that both use the same protocol um, and uh, yeah so for the bind procedure if I just go out here um, I, we press uh, as you know standard binding procedure uh, then we need to select a, a receiver number um, and of course they both need to have the same receiver number so that they can be bound uh, at the same uh, identifier. All right so I'm going to switch this off put the bind plug in go into bind mode and the light goes off very fast take the bind plug out and switch it back on and we have channels three and four working on this and not just channel three and four um, we can use all eight but the first three will be the same as on this three channel receiver. So uh, in this example, we could have channels one and two for the ramps and the landing gear, channel three um, for the light on both the trailer and the truck, and then channels four and uh, up to eight uh, would be uh, for controlling the truck and whatever you need to do there. Um, all right, so one receiver down, second receiver, switch it off. Make sure that the plug is in the binding channel, in this case, uh, channel three. Uh, we use the same receiver number and we just press uh, bind again, switch everything on, bind goes off, switch off, take it out, put the servo into channel three. Power it back on, channel one, channel three works on both uh, the trailer and the truck and channel four will only work on the truck. So we have bound two receivers to the same transmitter and we can now operate them independently. Um, of course, each of them will need their own battery and power supply, but you don't need to have any connections between the truck and the trailer because they are only coupled via the radio signal. And yeah, I hope you find that useful and uh, thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Cheers.